Hey guys. <clears throat> Tempest Mark 5. It's a great thing. Did I put up Tempest gameplay recently? I think I might have. In the last video that I uh, just recorded, a Spitfire, Mara, first Griffin Spitfire, Mark whatever, I <laughs> I was unable to determine if I had uploaded Tempest gameplay before or not. I still can't remember. I think I might have. That Bearcat's going to catch up to me and he very well may ram me. Or is he? Nope, I'm not. I'm outrunning him and I'm climbing him. Deal with it and your stupid yellow wings. Speaking of stupid yellow wings, mine are white and black <laughs> with arrow on its nose. And blue and red on down the side because reasons. And the arrow is sideways on the bottom because of how more thunder does its does its does its thing. Oh boy, what an what an idiot. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing another engine near me again. Don't ram me, please. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making a video, guys. Come on, come on, be cool. <clears throat> so, Tempest Mark V. As you can see, it climbs about the same as the first Bearcat. Not quite as well, but it's right there. It's much faster than the first Bearcat. It's actually about the same speed as the Mark II, uh, the, the 1B. Long story short, if you're expecting the Tempest Mark V to be the best propeller plane in the game, you're actually going to be a little disappointed because it's not. With that said, if you're expecting the Tempest Mark II to be the best prop plane in the entire game right now, it probably is. <laughs> Uh, I mean, planes that can compete evenly with the Mark II, um, the Bearcat 1B kind of can, sort of. Um, uh, um, J7W1 might, I don't know, I haven't flown it yet. Uh, <coughs> um, the Griffin Spitfires kind of can, sort of. Um, uh. I like climbing at higher speeds in my heavier planes, so we're going to pick our speed back up. Planes that can compete with the Tempest Mark II. Uh, the German, the D-12 can if you're early high altitude. Um, sort of. Kind of. Um, oh, speaking of high altitude, a uh, problem that this plane suffers badly from, um, it doesn't have a good supercharger. <laughs> yeah, it runs out of power at surprisingly low altitude, which the Mark II kind of rectifies mostly. But this plane doesn't. It's, yeah, it, it loses its uh, power at depressingly low altitudes, around 5 kilometers, maybe 6 kilometers is as high as I would recommend going. I mean, there's no reason to stop climbing, but you can't really fight effectively against an equal energy opponent at high altitudes. Let me put it this way, if you climb to 6.5 kilometers, and all of a sudden you're attacked by a D-12 or a Ta-152, who has a decent altitude advantage over you, you're probably better off diving to at least 4 kilometers. They already have an energy advantage over you, you might as well drag them down. And their engine performance advantage over you at high altitudes is just so big. So looking at my boost gauge, you can hardly see it. It's hidden behind a bunch of stuff. But my boost gauge is down there. Don't know what my boost is at. But as you can see, I am able to develop more boost with my WEP at this altitude, so I can continue using WEP. But once you start to get, as I said, around four and a half to five kilometers, this plane runs out of runs out of supercharger power, really. Runs out of boost, and then it, it just starts getting worse. <laughs> Which is a little depressing, but the Bearcats suffer from the same thing. The difference being they're not as fast at these medium altitudes where we are. So the Tempest Mark V is arguably better than the Bearcat 1. It's the Bearcat 1B... I'd say has the advantage over it, just because it's almost as fast, climbs decently better, has about the same critical altitude, and uh, turns a bit better. It's not a big advantage, but I would say the Bearcat 1B has a d Ugh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I mean... And this is something you have to deal with in the Tempest. Great climb rate at sea level. Uh, not so great climb rate up here, which means by the time you get to 5, 6 kilometers, the Germans will probably be above you. The Americans definitely will be above you, even though their engines suffer up here just as badly as you do. They're still higher than you with their shitty engines, while you're lower than them with your shitty engine. So, Oh boy, rolled a lot further than I meant to. God. Oh, And this is basically uh, Flying the Tempest. Uh, you camp in the corner, climbing. Just chilling, looking at my, my boost. Yeah, we are above the altitude where I can make extra boost with WEP, so I may as well stop using WEP. 
Unlike some planes, the Ki-84, if you try using WEP above its supercharger's critical altitude, it will actually lose power. This plane won't, but it will overheat your engine because Gaijin's thermodynamics model sucks. The good news about this plane is it does outrun every German prop at sea level. Uh, the Bearcat 1B can catch it, but and the Tempest Mark II will easily catch it, but it doesn't fight its bigger brother. Well, technically littler, but well, it has a bigger engine, but it doesn't have the... The Radiator either. So the Tempest Mark II is definitely the better plane. And I, as I said, Tempest Mark II is easily one of the best planes in this game. The uh, Tempest Mark V is is amazing. But the bad high altitude performance, which I'm already suffering from. Again, I can't use WEP. <laughs> Using WEP develops no more power at this altitude. So it's basically like a lost 7 in that respect. So compared to the Russians, I mean, compared to the Russian props at this tier, it's great. Uh... We're going to go this way. Let my engine cool off a touch. And we're going to let that Spitfire come over. Try not to be the frontline fighter. Try not to be like maneuvering. I just clicked WEP on even though it doesn't work at this altitude. I mean, it does. It generates a bunch of extra heat. Again, because German's thermo... Or, pff, because Gaijin's thermodynamics model is poop. But it doesn't develop an extra boost. doesn't develop an extra power. So you might as well not use it. Which means at this point, what I often do is manual engine controls, second supercharger gear, full prop pitch, close the radiator, and chill with your... Because you're not using WEP, because you can't, you're not going to overheat your engine. You've got the radiator closed, you might as well get away what... Get rid of what drag you can. They don't need help. They need help. Oh, psh, God. And attack the people that are low. I mean, the people that... Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> we're going to attack these guys while we have the advantage over them. He's coming in. I'm going to have to deal with him in a second. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm not going to have to deal with him. Oh, God. Well, you know. It happens, right? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, well, I'm doing 300 miles per hour. I'm not exactly defenseless. Uh, uh, still too high to use my whip. Pooping in my butt. Oh, so, we're going to drag this 190 off of our teammates. Hopefully, he's going to turn around to go on the offense in a second and we'll split us. Nobody's coming to help us. Which is fine. I can easily outrun him if I dive. Or, or this is going to sacrifice the energy advantage to him. But I'm going to try it anyway. We're going to do a gentle dive. And he's going to be able to cut into us, but he's going to pick up a huge amount of speed in the process as well. Actually, you know what? We're just going to outrun him. I want to prove that I can outrun a door. It can, not by a massive margin. And the angle I chose was terrible for trying to outrun him because that wasn't my original intent. But that's what we're going to do. Not much of a challenge either at this altitude. We're at pretty much the perfect altitude. We're going to kick it back. Are we going to kick it back to first gear? First gear. We're kicking it back to first gear and we're killing... No, we're using weapon first gear. And there we go. We're now going to zoom climb. I'm going to go to the second gear preemptively just so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, pushing all the wrong buttons today. And now I outclimb him at this altitude as well. So out energying him isn't going to be a challenge. Now we're going to level off and do a gentle turn. I'm going to try and draw him to too low of a speed to be anywhere near his optimum climb rate. Then we're just going to out energy fight him. So the cool thing about this plane has so many capabilities. Come here. 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 Gonna drag him sideways for the Spitfire. I'd rather kill him myself, but yeah. Don't go head on, don't go head on, don't go head on, don't go head on. Thank you, Spitfire. You're the best boy. Oh, this frame rate. That stutter, bro. That stutter!
which way are you pulling out? Really? You're going to suicide like a retard? Oh, nope, he's pulling out on time. Lead a little bit of speed. Let him get back out in front. No, he's going to pull up at me. Fine. And there goes all his energy. With a Spitfire right on his ass. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go get this other 190 over here who's chasing the P-51. Oh, there's two of them. Um, we're going to also kick back to auto controls because we're not doing any high-speed running. Three of them. All right, well, we got, we got three as well. We, got, we don't got three anymore. And this guy's obviously going to pitch up at me like a retard because he's a retard. Oh, he's also damaged. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. Threw away a decent chunk of energy, but that's okay. I'm in a more maneuverable plane, so let's use that maneuverability while we can. That K4 is going to be a threat if I let him. <laughs> Alright, well. I never claimed to be a good shot. And a D9 trying to turn after me just got shot down easily. <laughs> Wouldn't have gotten shot down easily if he hadn't tried to turn towards me of all people. I wasn't the biggest threat to him there. Alright, so. Um, looks like with that Griffin game, you got a nice average game for me. You're getting another nice average game. Nothing special about this. Alright, so we're going manual engine controls, first gear, close the radiator. And beginning the dive. Nothing can outrun this plane except other British planes and one US, well, and the F7F. But yeah, there's no way in hell he can outrun me. <laughs> I'm in a Tempest. Oh, this is the part I love. I'm coming for your soul. And he can't even see it because I have stealth rounds. Yeah, well, I don't have stealth rounds. I have the air target ammo, which is effectively stealth ammo. So is he going to turn around and come head on with me? No, he's not. The 190 is going to attack me, though. Hopefully, if we time this right, I can get that 190 to turn after me. Nope, oh, they both turned. Nice, gentle zoom climb. No, oh, fuck it. Hard turn, hard turn. I see an opportunity here. Don't fail me now, me. Yeah, there we go. That went from an average to a not average game very quickly. <laughs> and that, that is one of the reasons I love this plane. It doesn't have very good energy retention. When you turn hard like that, just like the Bearcat, you shed your speed fast. But you can turn like that if the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> and they presented that opportunity to me so well. Oh, thank you, the two German pilots I just shot down. You could not have set that up better for me. <laughs> oh, so we're going to go back to auto and let <laughs> Dan <Damn> Jinko. <cool. laughs> oh, that was the best. See, yeah, that's not average. I don't do that every game. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that so much. So yeah, the Tempest. It doesn't actually turn that well. It only turns well at speed, and pretty much every plane turns well at speed. And it sheds all its energy very quickly when it does turn like that. Almost have the Tempest Mark II. Oh, I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I love it. I love it so much. I know I've been complaining about it almost that entire match. The only real drawback is the low critical altitude. It's bad high altitude performance. Pretty much giving every patient side climber an auto energy advantage over you. And it's the patient side climbers you need to worry about. So the most dangerous players on the enemy team you can't do anything about. You have to wait for them to come after you. But when this plane does have the opportunity to go on the offense, it does it extremely well. I can see why somebody who's such a good shot like Noob really loves this plane. Because it, oh, its cannons are a lower velocity than the earlier Hispanos. That this does indeed use, does use the, it does use the Spano Mark II's. So it has a lower velocity than these long barrel cannons. 
But the good thing about the Hispano Mark Vs are they are short-barreled guns, so they actually fit in the wings, and they also don't have this big bulge for the breech sticking out the top of the wing, slowing the plane down. So this, oh, I just I love it. I love both these planes. The Griffin Spitfires and the Tempests are very rapidly becoming my favorite planes again. I love them. I love them a lot. Oh, you're going over Tempe. Yeah. All right, so that's the end of this one. Later, guys.